Okay, this is going to be about using your nano VNA to tune your dipole antenna. And so I think everybody's familiar with this formula. Uh, a half wave measured in feet. Sorry about my uh, metric viewers, but uh, this is going to be measured in feet. And uh, this is equal to 468 divided by the frequency. If you're a metric guy, there's probably another formula that you can use, but uh, we're going to be doing everything in feet and feet and inches in here. Sorry. Um, so if we have a particular uh, frequency, let's say it's 468, then megahertz, uh, this is in megahertz, megahertz. So 468 feet divided by uh, 468 megahertz would give you one foot. So a half wave length antenna is one foot in length uh, for that particular frequency, all right? So let's, uh, let's build an antenna and we'll see how we can use this equation and see if it works or not. So I've made, uh, so this works perfectly fine for small antennas and big antennas. It's gonna be a little less accurate for uh, smaller antennas. This particular formula has some fudge factors built into it. So it's not an exact formula. It's kind of a, a best practices formula. So uh, I'm gonna make a, a video using really short antennas because I don't wanna go outside. So uh, we're gonna make a dipole. Can we put that all on camera? So this little dipole is pretty short and it's on a little SMA connector. So it's just one wire connected to the outside and one wire connected to the center conductor and that's a dipole, all right? So each one of these is a quarter wavelength in length and the whole thing is half a wavelength in length. Wavelength in length. So let's measure the length of this thing. Let's start here at uh, some particular place, doesn't really matter. And we'll count off the number of inches for uh, for this side, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a little bit. So seven and a quarter inches on that side. And on this side, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half. So that's a little bit. I just snipped the wire off by eye and just kind of did that. So let's go ahead and put this on the, um, on the Nano VNA and see what we get. And so I'm just gonna hold, kind of hold it up in the air and we'll come over here. Can you see that? Yeah, I think you can see that. And so we have a dip. And so we'll go here to the dip. This is a, uh, the return loss. So we're looking at about minus 20 dB, which is about uh, SWR of 1.5. Uh, so it's happening at about 380 megahertz, okay? so. Does that make any sense? 380 megahertz. Let's go back to our mathematics. So we have 380 megahertz. We have 468. And we'll get out a calculator. And so 468 divided by 380. And that says it's 1.23 feet. Okay. And so let's convert that to inches. That is 14.8 inches. And that means that each half is 7.38 inches. And we're measuring what, about three and a quarter inches on one side and three and a half inches on the other side. So yeah, kind of evened out to that. But let's be a little bit more exact. All right, let's take our antenna. Uh, and let's, uh, let's go ahead and measure off um, where's some cutters here, okay? So we will put that right in the center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We will cut it off perfectly at seven. And we'll do that to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we will cut that off here. So we have seven inches and seven inches, all right? And so if we use our Nano VNA, I'll hold it up in the air here. Our Nano VNA now says it's a little longer in frequency or shorter in frequency, bigger number. <laughs> uh, what does it say? Uh, 406. So 406 megahertz. Uh, and so let's, uh, 
let's say we want to design an antenna for um, 500 megahertz, all right? So let's do that. We'll do the math. So we want 500 megahertz, so we have 468 divided by 500, 468, oops, 500, we get 0.936 feet or 11.23 inches or 5.61 inches per half, okay? So let's take our antenna. Remember, this works for really, really long antennas too, so don't worry about it being short. You can do this with your long antenna, do the same calculations. So what did I say? Uh, 5.6. All right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0. 0.6 is about there. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oops. I do that right? One, two, three, four, five, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, and point six would be about there. And so the total is supposed to be 11 and uh, two thirds. So let's measure that 11 and 11.23. 11.23, it's a little bit long, a little bit long, but pretty close. Should be around 500 megahertz, all right? So let's go over here to the nano and our dip moved. Let's go to our dip and it says dip is 505. So that's pretty darn close. And I said it was a tiny bit long, so 505 megahertz. So um, I'm also displaying the uh, Smith chart here and you can see that we're pretty close to 50 ohms. It measures up here. You can measure that. That's 57 ohms. So pretty good. Um, so it's really, really easy. Uh, just uh, uh, snip off your antenna. Uh, the other thing you can do uh, just for fun is uh, bend the antenna. Uh, you can try different shapes. So we're gonna bend the ends in and see what that did. Uh, that made it a little bit longer. So 532. Uh, so you can do different things. You can say, okay, I want an inverted V, uh, so I'm going to tilt these down at uh, tilt these down at 45 degrees, and uh, I'll come down here next to ground, and we will measure that, and that's back down here around 496, so very very close to the 500 ohm, uh, 500 uh, megahertz that we wanted to hit, and um, yeah. So when you're out in the field and you're trying to do this stuff, what I'll do sometimes is it's easier to shorten than it is to lengthen, okay? So a lot of times I'll go out and I'll have a pair of clip leads. Let's say like one foot of wire on clip leads. And I'll clip it on the end of the antenna to add one foot and see what direction that's going and whether or not it's doing what I think it's going to do. Before I commit to, to, to cut, like, let's say I want to get rid, uh, I want to move it by, you know, uh, uh, 0.1 megahertz. So I'll try to move it in the longer direction, uh, 0.1 megahertz. And then if that works, I'll know that maybe cutting it will be very, very close. Because like I said, it's easier to, uh, it's easier to lengthen than, and then to, uh, uh, than to shorten. One thing I've also done out in the field uh, just to try something out. Let's let's say that we wanted to shorten the sanitize antenna by one inch on each on each end. So we'd get out our cutters. Now we could just fold it in. So if we folded it in uh, really tight on both sides, we can kind of kind of fold it in on itself, and uh, that will hopefully shorten things up too. And it did that one. That will move it all the way out here to uh, 550 megahertz. And uh, so 550 megahertz. Let's do the calculation, see what, see what that did. Uh, 550, uh, 468, 468, 550 divided 0.851 uh, is 10. 
10.2 inches. And so let's go back to our ruler and it is 9.75 inches. So uh, a lot of times having a little bit of loading on top of the, uh, on, on the ends of the antennas will do something a little bit different than actually lengthening or cutting. So a lot of times you'll see antennas with a little bit of stuff at the end. So anyway, uh, you can try out different uh, antennas just sitting at your lab bench and uh, bending wires and stuff around, uh, making, making crazy, making crazy shapes and, uh, and seeing what they do. Uh, that one, that one's not working out really well at all. That one is, uh, not giving us a good resonance. So it's kind of, kind of, uh, interfering with itself. Uh, so this one's giving, uh, a sharper, a sharper V. Um, there's a nice, really, really sharp V. And, uh, I just bent one up. So it's kind of a funny, can you see that? Just kind of a funny shape now, one end sticking up and one end sticking out. And uh, that ended up being a little sharper. So yeah, try different things out. Um, and uh, yeah, have fun with your Nano.